Whanau and friends. This is my last Paha video for week three. A quick review on the belief changes session with the beautiful Wahine Toa and Nez White. Now, I actually met this Wahine about eight years ago on a Whanau led camp by Tohara North Number Two Trust. Um, and they ran a session where they brought in Matua and Fire who shared their journeys on the paths and avenues that they excel in. So yeah, I guess they did this to in hopes inspire us to choose a career path or really to expose us to different career paths because we had a stunt man come in, we had uh, and there's white we had a police officer come in and yeah, but seeing Inez and hearing her corridor on Sunday, um, she has expanded just from Indigenuity Limited, which is her first Pākehi. Um, she is also now a Indigenous ambassador within Shopify. She also has developed a land and home ownership program called Fatu Kainga. So yeah, her passion then eight years ago was all about, you know, whenua Māori, kainga Māori, motona whānau Māori, you know. Um, and she is still on that path and still on her kaupapa hard. And that was very inspiring because eight years, nine, eight, seven years is a long, long time. Yeah. But two things I took from this wahine tour is um, I still hold on to this from seven and eight years ago, you know. The low maintenance, not low maintenance, but the simple things in life. Uh, are just as greater um, as the greater things in life, as the, you know. And I say this because she shared with us when she was in her university days and working days, she worked full time, uh, never spent money out, never bought kai out, um, clothes shopping at hokohoko shops, in order to save. And to save, 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 because on her mind was just to own a home, her own home. And yeah, she cracked it and was able to get, she got granted a loan at 21 years of age, I think I remember, because she was able to show the bank or whoever she was dealing with her ability to save, um, you know, and yeah. That has stuck with me to this day. And the last thing I've taken from her is... Is... Because Anisa is shy, she has found ways to adapt. Because she is an educator, she doesn't, she deals with people face to face, however, she doesn't like communicating face to face. So she found a way to get over that by just videoing herself and then putting it up on a platform so people can go to that instead of her being present in front of them. So I guess I, my last thing I learned from her is to adapt. You know, be adaptable to to fit any situation that you may be faced with. And yeah, that is my review video on Inez White Fano, the Sunday Belief Changes session. Kia ora.